on base plus slugging is a sabermetric baseball statistic calculated as the sum of a player's on base percentage and slugging average. The ability of a player both to get on base and to hit for power, two important offensive skills, are represented. An OPS of .900 or higher in Major League Baseball puts the player in the upper echelon of hitters. Typically, the league leader in OPS will score near, and sometimes above, the 1.000 mark. Equation The basic equation is where OBP is on base percentage and SLG is slugging average. These averages are defined. And where H equals hits, BB equals base on balls, HBP equals times hit by pitch, AB equals at bats, SF equals sacrifice flies, TB equals total bases, in one equation. OPS can be represented as Interpretation of OPS OPS does not present a complete picture of a player's offensive contributions. Factors such as base running, base stealing, and the leverage timeliness of performance are not considered. More expansive sabermetric measurements do attempt to incorporate some or all of the above-mentioned factors. Nonetheless, even though it does not include them, OPS correlates quite well with team run scoring. Other sabermetric stats, such as runs created and wins above replacement, attempt to express a player's contribution directly in terms of runs and or wins. However, a player's OPS does not have a simple intrinsic meaning. OPS is a convenient calculation, but presents several issues. OPS weighs on base percentage and slugging average equally. However, on base percentage correlates better with scoring runs. Statistics such as WOBA build on this distinction using linear weights. Additionally, the components of OPS are not typically equal. As a point of reference, the OPS for all of Major League Baseball in 2008 was 0 .749. Furthermore, despite being based on two already well-established stats and thus easy to calculate, the calculation does not follow mathematical rules of addition with fractions. That is, the denominator for on-base percentage is plate appearances while the denominator for slugging percentage is at bats. An OPS scale, Bill James, in his essay titled The 96 Families of Hitters uses seven different categories for classification by OPS. This effectively transforms OPS into a seven-point ordinal scale. Substituting quality labels such as excellent, very good, good, average, fair, poor and very poor for the AG categories creates a subjective reference for OPS values. History, on base plus slugging was first popularized in 1984 by John Thorne and Pete Palmer's book, The Hidden Game of Baseball. The New York Times then began carrying the leaders in this statistic in its weekly by the numbers box, a feature that continued for four years. Baseball journalist Peter Gammons used and evangelized the statistic, and other writers and broadcasters picked it up. The popularity of OPS gradually spread, and by 2004 it began appearing on Topps baseball cards. OPS was formerly sometimes known as production, for instance in early versions of Thorne's Total Baseball Encyclopedia, and in the Stratomatic Computer Baseball game. This term has fallen out of use. Leaders the top 10 Major League Baseball players in lifetime OPS, with at least 3,000 plate appearances through June 10, 2014 are, Babe Ruth, 1.1636, Ted Williams, 1.1155, Lou Gehrig, 1.0798, Barry Bonds, 1.0512, Jimmy Foggs, 1.0376, Hank Greenberg, 1.0169, Rogers Hornsby, 1.0103, Albert Pujols, 1.0023, Manny Ramirez, 0.9960, Mark Maguire, 0.9823, the top four were all left-handed batters. Jimmy Foggs has the highest career OPS for a right-handed batter. Source, Baseball-Reference.com, Career Leaders and Records for OPS. The top 10 single season performances in MLB are Barry Bonds, 1.4217, Barry Bonds, 1.3807, Babe Ruth, 1.3791, Barry Bonds, 
1.3785, Babe Ruth, 1.3586, Babe Ruth, 1.3089, Ted Williams, 1.2875, Barry Bonds, 1.2778, Babe Ruth, 1.2582, Ted Williams, 1.2566, the highest single season mark for a right-handed hitter was 1.2449 by Rogers Hornsby in. Since 1925, the highest single season OPS for a right-hander is 1.2224 by Mark McGuire in, which is good for 16th all-time. Source, Baseball-Reference.com, Single Season Records for OPS, Adjusted OPS, OPS Plus, Adjusted OPS, is a closely related statistic. OPS Plus is OPS adjusted for the park and the league in which the player played, but not for fielding position. An OPS Plus of 100 is defined to be the league average. An OPS Plus of 150 or more is excellent and 125 very good, while an OPS Plus of 75 or below is poor. The basic equation for OPS Plus is where LGOBP is the park adjusted OBP of the league and LGSLG is the park adjusted SLG of the league. A common misconception is that OPS Plus closely matches the ratio of a player's OPS to that of the league. In fact, due to the additive nature of the two components in OPS Plus, a player with an OBP and SLG both 50% better than league average in those metrics will have an OPS Plus of 200 while still having an OPS that is only 50% better than the average OPS of the league. It would be a better approximation to say that a player with an OPS plus of 150 produces 50% more runs, in a given set of plate appearances, as a player with an OPS plus of 100. Leaders in OPS plus, through September 29, 2013, the career leaders in OPS plus were, a 1. Babe Ruth, 206, a 2. Ted Williams, 190, a 3. Barry Bonds, 181, a 4. Lou Gehrig, 178, a 5. Rogers Hornsby, 175, a 6. Mickey Mantle, 172, a 7. Dan Brothers, 170, a 8. Joe Jackson, 169, a 9. T.Y. Cobb, 168, a 10. Albert Pujols, 165, 11. Pete Browning, 163, 12. Jimmy Foggs, 163. Source, Baseball-Reference.com, Career Leaders and Records for Adjusted OPS Plus. The only purely right-handed batters to appear on this list are Hornsby, Pugiles, and Foggs. Mantle is the only switch hitter in the group. The highest single-season performances were Barry Bonds, 268, Barry Bonds, 263, Barry Bonds, 259, Fred Dunlap, 258, Babe Ruth, 256, Babe Ruth, 239, Babe Ruth, 239, Ted Williams, 235, Ted Williams, 233, Ross Barnes, 231, Barry Bonds, 231. Source, Baseball-Reference.com, Single Season Leaders and Records for Adjusted OPS Plus, Fred Dunlap's historic 1884 season came in the Union Association, which some baseball experts consider not to be a true major league. Ross Barnes may have been aided by a rule that made a bunt fair if it first rolled in fair territory. He did not play nearly so well when this rule was removed, although injuries may have been mostly to blame as his fielding statistics similarly declined. If Dunlap's and Barnes seasons were to be eliminated from the list, two other Ruth seasons would be on the list. This would also eliminate the only right-handed batter in the list, Barnes. See also On-base percentage, slugging percentage, saber metrics, gross production average, notes, see www.baseballprospectus.com or rec sport baseball. Lewis, Michael. Moneyball, The Art of Winning an Unfair Game, 2003. HTTP, 
www.baseballreference.com MLB slash 2008 Standard Batting SHTML, James, Bill. The 96 Families of Hitters. The Bill James Gold Mine, 2009, pages 24. John Thorne and Pete Palmer, The Hidden Game of Baseball, pages 69 to 70. Alan Schwartz, The Numbers Game, pages 165, 233. References, Thorne, John. Pete Palmer. The Hidden Game of Baseball. Doubleday and Company. ISBN A 0 385 18283 Xa, Schwartz, Alan. The Numbers Game. Thomas Dunn Books. ISBN A 0 312 32222 4A.